الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين الصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم أما بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم صل على محمد عبدك ورسولك وصل على المؤمنين والمؤمنات وعلى المسلمين والمسلمات Honorable guest السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله once again on behalf of all masajids and community centers in Baltimore Washington corridor we are delighted to welcome you all to this beautiful 42nd ICNA mass convention you may remember last year and i mentioned it that president obama visited the ISB, Islamic Society of Baltimore, and now we look forward for our new president, Donald Trump, to do the same. And we would love to welcome him here or anywhere in America, inshallah. We are confident that would be a great step forward to make America great again. Now, this message are truly reflected in our theme, very wisely selected for this convention. Quest for the true success actually lies in knowing the divine message of Moses, Jesus, and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, peace be upon all of them. Please note, Judaism and Christianity and Islam have the same common roots and exactly the same origin. We as Muslim believe in every prophet of Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, namely Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac, Jacob, Joseph, Moses, David, Jesus, and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, peace be upon all of them. As Muslims in America, we want the world to know that the prime duty of a Muslim, the prime duty of a Muslim is to use his and her intellect and strive for the peaceful life. And that is free of anger, hatred, violence, greed, in order to pursue the higher truth of the God universe. Let me illustrate with this simple example. Six-year-old son walking with his dad on the mountains, and suddenly the son falls. He hurt himself and screams, Ah, to his surprise, he hears the same voice repeating somewhere on the mountains. Little boy gets curious, so he yells, who are you? He receives the answers, who are you? Then he screams to the mountains, I admire you. Again, the voice answers, I admire you. Now he gets angry and screams, you are coward. He receives the answer, you are coward. He looks at his father and asks, what is going on? The father smiles and say, my son, pay attention. Now the man screams, you are a champion. So the voice answers, you are a champion. 
The little boy is surprised but doesn't understand. The father explains, people call this echo. People call this echo. In reality, this is life. It gives you back everything you say or do, and our life is simply a reflection of our actions. Life gives you back everything that we have given to the life. And if you don't believe it, I mean, think about, ask uh, General Retired Flynn. In his first press conference, he puts Iran on notice. Only a few weeks, a couple of weeks later, he himself was on notice and got fired. <laughs> Finally, you know, this was the topic of my khutbah this afternoon, so I just want to repeat something here. Listen to the most powerful message delivered by Jesus, Isa alayhi salam, Isa ibn Maryam alayhi salam. And this is revealed in every divine scriptures. We call it Torah, Zubur, Injil, and the Quran. The newly born Jesus, not even a day old, he speaks from his lap of his mother, Mary, and I call him a born prophet. He was a born prophet. A newly born, Jesus said, Qala inni Abdullah. I am the servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa atainahu al-Injil, he gave me Injil, the divine book of Hidayah and Nur. Wa ja'alani nabiyya, and he made me prophet. Wa ja'alani mubarakan ayna ma kunt, and he blessed me wherever I am. Wa awsani bis salati wa zakati ma dumtu hayya. Jesus is saying that Allah subhanahu ta'ala has commanded me to establish prayers and give zakah. Quran begins with this. Alladheena yu'minuna bil ghaib wa yuqimuna salata wa mimma razaqnahum yunfiqoon. Same message that Prophet Jesus or Isa alayhi salam gave. The divine message delivered by Jesus, Sayyidina Masih Isa ibn Maryam alayhi salam, is the divine message delivered by all prophets, including Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Therefore, all mankind, let us come together, let us live together in peace and harmony, inshallah, wa akhirut da'wana, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. Again, Welcome to this beautiful convention and thank you for patiently listening to me. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.